we've got it up to 68. Hello, how you doing, sir? Oh, my goodness. That's funny. The guy that put the thermostat mm -hmm. in yeah. years ago, or several years ago, that's he told me this is all I need to do. Mm -hmm. That is all you need to do. And in fact, you can see right here, it says the heat is on. I know. But we're getting nothing. Well, let's hope that maybe um, there's like a little fuse or a little sensor that's loose or something, and that's all we got to deal with today. Okay, good. <laughs> right before Thanksgiving. I apologize, guys. No, that's okay. Where's the uh, oh, furnace located? Yeah. Is it back here? Yeah. yeah. How you doing, sir? Nice to be I'm right. sunny. <laughs> okay, you guys are my last one, so let's see if I get some good luck today. Okay. All right, and we're right up there. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go get a ladder. Would it be okay if I just pulled the, well, the let me roller get that out? Stuff out of your way. All That's right, <laughs> no problem, guys. I'll be right back with you. All right, okay. I put this unit in a month ago. Yeah, my team, my team put this in a month ago, guys. Let's see what the hell they did, huh? All right, got a champion furnace, which is basically a York. One, two, three, four, five, six. Repeated three red vent or termination problem. All right, what the hell is going on here? What is this? A little sensor in there. Let's look at the pressure switches. The drain is in. We got any water in here? Yep. We're not draining. Come on, guys. Look at that. All right, let's see here. You guys down there? Yeah. So I've got some water backed up in the unit up here. It appears that I can probably get it fixed today, get you some heat, but did they leave you any um, installation booklet or anything like that, any paperwork? Yeah. Let me go down there and see if I can find the booklet so I can see if they ran the drain right. Okay. I'll meet you down there, okay? There's water leaking up there? Not in there, it just got backed up. It's not leaking in the attic or anything. Oh. The unit drains water and then one of the tubes just had a little bit too much water got backed up. So there's a pressure switch and it turned the unit off as a safety. That's all. Oh. Yeah. So we just got to see if we're, uh, how, to, how the drains are ran real quick. I'll go down there and take a look. Okay. All right. I can bring you the folder if you want. Yeah. I'll, I'll meet you right back there at the ladder. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. Be careful there. I can get it. It should be a manual. Okay. Give me a second. I'll figure out why this water is backed up a little bit and how to fix it. Okay. Okay. Yep, and then uh, I might I might drain it out of the tube and let the heat run just so it gets the chill off the house for you guys, too. Oh, okay. All right. All right, I should be able to hit that QR code. Okay, here we go. We're looking on a TM9V installation guide, installation manual. Let's look for condensate. Condensate piping and furnace term, uh, venting configuration. Okay, this is a horizontal right. With the flue on the bottom. Like this one right here. Okay, this is our config right here. 
move rain gutter hose into that position. Move condensate drain hose to this position. Move pressure switch hose to that position. Change condensate drain connection to the 90 degree fitting of provided. Okay, so let's see if we got this stuff here. Move condensate drain hose to this position. Pressure switch should be moved over there. That's all right. We got to figure out what this loop de loop is here because there's obviously no way the water, unless it goes out this hose right here. It's not draining at all, dude. So they changed that to the 90. Is it backing up in there too? No. Drain all this water onto this panel and then into this pan. Pressure switch hose to this position. Move rain gutter hose. So it is supposed to be on the bottom. But you can see theirs has a little grade, whereas mine doesn't. Yeah, we might need to shorten the hose. Dude, how much water is in here, bro? Would you happen to have like a little small Tupperware? Oh yeah, just in case. Yeah, just so I could uh, put the water in that. Okay. And maybe like a little paper towel. Obviously we ran that flu wrong. That flu drain right there. So we're getting to the bottom of it guys. Let me get some, uh, some more stuff to get that water. fill that thing up so it looks like according to my manual guys what I have to do here is shorten up this hose so that we have to grade on this hose here oh no no wonder <laughs> they didn't remove the plug Oh my gosh. Now I got more water going in this damn unit. Oh my gosh. She gave me a towel. There it is. Jeez, guys. Whatever guy was on this was having a long day, huh? How's the water going to drain if that's plugged? Jeez. See that move condensate hose to that position and move rain gutter hose to that position, which was cap. So this is the rain gutter position right there. There's that damn cap. See, closed on the other side. So now, let me see if maybe if I shorten this up a little bit. If 
I shorten that up a little bit if it'll give me some grade. I think it will if I shorten it up to about right there. Let me take off about that much where that white is. Right. Let's plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Let me make sure the uh, eye wave is good here. Okay, I've got green lights on the eye wave. Get all this water dried up. There's the plug and there's a shortened hose there. I get a picture for my damn installers. Come on, guys. They're killing me, Smalls. All right. Let's let this baby run. There's my igniter coming on. Feisty there, huh? A little feisty. Now we're in low stage. It's about 4.41. Thanksgiving's tomorrow. This is the last call before Thanksgiving. This is probably definitely not going to post before then, but... Diagnosis, guys. Looks like my installer's forgot to pull the plug on this uh, configuration for this horizontal right on this champion which is essentially a york off-brand type and so basically what we have to do is have some grade on that and then now we have the plug out so now the collector box can fill up and drain out of here and out so far so good i don't hear any water bogging up i'm gonna let this thing run for at least 20 25 minutes man I'll come back, it's 4.42 right now. I'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes, show you guys the time. If it codes out, I'll definitely show you that. But thanks for watching, I'll be back. Yep, we're rocking and rolling. Here, let me throw this down to you here. Okay. I'll throw it on the floor. I'm gonna vacuum up and stuff. Okay, that's all right. I'll okay, I'll grab it. Um, yeah, they forgot on the one, one of the drains, they forgot to plug, uh, remove the little plug from the factory. And they hooked the hose up to it without the plug being removed so the water wasn't able to drain and so the first couple you know, first time you use it the water just filled up in the furnace and it just just stayed in the furnace basically and there's a little pressure switch in there that just didn't let the system run but it, it doesn't let it run it's called a lockout so you guys can call the service out and we can figure out what's going on we have to reset the unit to clear that code oh. so they the system manufacturers make make it called a lockout so we have to come out and physically look at the system, basically, uh -huh. instead of it keep resetting on you guys, you know? Uh, so they messed up. My guys messed up, yep. Yeah. I thought it was a thermostat or something. Nope, you're good. It's on us. I'm going to check my primary just real quick. Yep, we're starting to get some water in there. So see how on these guys it says... No external trap is required in any position. The trap is internal on that collector header. And so that's why this one is lower than this drain because you basically got a trap inside that collector header. So we don't need to add another trap on these on the exterior. But my guys just didn't give this thing the ability to even drain. So the owner's kind of pissed about that because they told it was working. Which I'm going to make sure that Whoever installed this system knows not to do that. I bumped it up just so we can get it to run for a couple minutes. You know, uh -huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna about five fifteen. By then, I'm comfortable. I can go to sleep tonight, knowing you guys are gonna be. You know, you should be good. Okay. Twenty third, you know, twenty twenty five, thirty minutes of runtime is plenty for that water to get in and drain out. You know. Yeah, because I. Oh. All right. Let's take a look at this drain line. Oh yeah, I've got an active drip. Nice. Yeah, that makes me happy. That means the water that's 
going in the system is making it out instead of getting stuck. Yeah. That's something you're always going to want to keep an eye out for yeah. in the summertime and the wintertime. Yeah, Pop out here every now and then when yeah. you're watering the flowers. Yeah, that's actually, that's doing good. I'm going to pop back in the attic okay. and then make sure everything is clean as a whistle. And then we'll get out of here right before Thanksgiving. I'm going to get home after this. <laughs> the kiddos are like, hey, are we ready for Thanksgiving or not? <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, moment of truth and end to this video. We're about a quarter, quarter past five here. Day before Thanksgiving. Diagnosis, incorrectly pitched tube going from the flu or from the rain gutter. And then we also had a plug on that collector header that was not removed. So these things can be positionally or positioned up flow, right, left, you know, all kind of different types of configurations and you've got to move the drains around appropriately. So. I found out that this guy just started out with this, so we'll give him a break. We'll let him know. But uh, that's gonna be it, guys. Make sure your water's draining. Outside, we got good water. I bet if I remove this, water's gonna flow, but I don't wanna add any more water in this thing that doesn't need to be in there. I'm not hearing anything. Just kidding, I just found another issue, guys. So I ran the system, and I noticed it wasn't kicking into high stage now. So everything was hooked up, but he forgot to put the staging jumper on 10 minutes. So we're, they're using a single stage stat downstairs, so we put it on 10 minutes. Now we're going to stay for another 10 minutes. All right, guys, we up kicked into high stage. We're good to go. Man, long day today, Thanksgiving tomorrow. It's time to get back to the family, guys. I appreciate you all for hanging out on this one. Take it back to the office for some coaching. Other than that, everybody makes mistakes, right? Let's just make sure that we don't make them over and over and over. You guys have a great day. Catch you on the next one. Peace.